wish for. Please let me do a really good job on this makeup today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The reason today I have no makeup during my intro is because I'm going to do or attempt to do the full face using only my fingers, no brushes challenge. I kind of wanted to be surprised with you guys, so we're gonna we're gonna get through this together, guys. Okay, I, I need your support. I do have long nails and. They're probably gonna help me with some things, but they're also gonna get in the way of me being able to use the tips of my fingers, so hopefully I don't poke my eyes out. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Ish. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. And I hope that you'll stick around. And if you like it, you'll give me a thumbs up and you'll also click that subscribe button so you don't miss out any more videos from me in the future. Before we get started with this video, I also wanted to take this time and just say a huge thank you to all of my subscribers. It's September 30th, 2016. I want to remember this day because today we reached 100 subscribers. I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support. All of you guys who subscribe to my channel, I appreciate you so, so much. You have no idea. Today was a really, really, really happy day for me. There are like 100 of you guys out there who is subscribed to this channel. That speaks so much volume to me because it's not about the numbers. It's what the numbers represent. And that to me is that there are 100 of you guys right now who enjoy my videos, who is there supporting me, and you want to continue this journey with me. So thank you so much and I hope that I can continue to bring videos for you guys that you want to watch. Mwah! Thank you. I love you. Stay tuned if you want to see the craziness that's about to happen right now. Okay guys, let's do this. We can do it. We can do this together. I think we can do it. I've already moisturized my face with my Origins moisturizer as well as my Embryolisse moisturizer. Let's do my brows because I have a feeling I'm going to need to clean it up with my concealer. I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. I'm going to take it the tip of my nail and maybe that'll help me. Here we go. Wish me luck. Oh my god, it's not even getting on my brows. This is going to take me forever to do this. Oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? Oh no. It's been seven minutes already and I'm still working on my first brow. I am going to go with concealer and clean it up, but I think we did a good job. I'm happy with that. I am not mad at that at all. Let's prime these eyes using Urban Decay Primer Potion. This part isn't too hard because I always prime my eyelid using my fingers. I'm going to take the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer and put this all over the lid and also carve out this eyebrow. Oh no! I used the applicator and I wasn't supposed to do that. See, it's just natural instinct, guys. I naturally just went for this. Is that, that's cheating, isn't it? Okay, um, I'm gonna do this side only using my finger. I'm sorry, just totally forgot. Stop cheating, Ish! Taking it on my finger right here and I'm going over my eyelid the brows are finally done they're not looking bad not as bad as I expected just gonna take a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder on top of the concealer and the primer will help blend out the shadows easier Let's start with this L'Oreal LA palette, nude number two. We're gonna take this shade right here. It's a matte mauve shade and 
let's see if we can use this as a transition shade <laughs> I'm doing this I'm tapping my finger just like I do with my brushes it's like habit <laughs> it's not going so fast is you gonna go slowly let's go in with this purpley shade right here this one right here let's put that in the crease I don't I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> My nails are getting in the way. I can't get into this inner corner, guys. Let's go in with this darker purple color. Let's place this color right in the outer V just to get some more definition. Let's bring it in also in here. Oh no, I got eyeshadow right over here. It's okay, we'll wipe that off later. But I can't get it like right in here. Oh no, I'm making a mess. What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? Oh my God, I'm so gonna poke my eyes out. This is not easy. This is so hard. I miss my brushes. I love you guys. I look like my eyes are bruised right now. Maybe this can be a Halloween tutorial. <laughs> this is so sad. This looks terrible. For the lid color, we're going to take this Tarte palette. This was part of um, Tarte's holiday collection from last year. I'm sorry that I'm using this palette, but I'm sure you can get colors like this. We're going to take Vixen and put this all over our lid. We're going to go back into the L'Oreal palette. I'm going to grab Champagne Pop and put this right in the center because I want the center to pop a little bit more. Okay, I think I need to stop with the eyeshadow because I'm not sure I can do this as perfectly as I want to. I think I'm going to do my base now and then go back to the eyes later. To prime our face today, I'm going to take the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is a moisturizing primer. And then to help with my pores, I am going to go in with Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. And this is just going to go right around my t-zone for foundation today i am going to mix two foundation which is something that i do most of the time i'm gonna take the tarte amazonian clay foundation and then take this ex1 foundation and make a little cocktail okay how should i do this should i rub it oh my god this is so thick oh god getting on my hair Ugh. God, I have not put on foundation using my fingers. I don't know if I ever did. Oh my God, so much foundation on my hand. This feels so weird. Rub, rub, then slap, slap. Definitely a very thick application going on right now. Let's move on to concealer. I'm gonna go back to the concealer I used to prime my lid earlier not going to make a mistake this time i'm going to take it on my finger and put this under my eyes i do find it helpful to blend with several fingers rather than just one it covers more space in the bridge of the nose Let's do a little cream contouring as well and then we can go on top of that with the powder. I'm going to use my NYX Wonder Stick. Take some of this and carve out the cheekbones. Should I even bother to contour my nose? Should I even try? Let's just, why skip anything, right? We're just gonna go all out. Let's try to do the nose. I am scared though. I feel like I might mess it up here. Oh my God, 
this is getting out of hand okay i should really really stop that's not a bad nose contour guys right i'm proud of myself so far even though it's been a struggle i'm feeling really proud to be able to get to this point and there is a chance it's gonna go downhill from now on because we're about to move on to powder right now deep breath deep breath we can do this trying to take very very little powder at a time just so it doesn't look too cakey i think that worked out really well okay one side done it's time for the other side since it is looking a little bit dry and a little patchy in some places i'm gonna go in with my mac studio fix foundation powder in the shade nc42 and just see if i can try to smooth this out a little bit and maybe like give a little extra coverage this is not going as badly as i anticipated and to set this contour i'm going to take this nyx cheek and contour dual palette and we're just gonna try to take the powder and try to set Ooh, that's dark this is the first time i'm using this and i didn't know it was gonna be that pigmented okay okay it's okay try to blend it out let's try to bronze up the skin using max mineralized skin finish in sun power Okay, maybe no rubbing. Just tap, 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 tap. Let's take this e.l.f. blush palette, this shade right here. And this is also the first time I'm using this. And these are very pigmented, so I'm just gonna tap some of it on my hand here, trying to diffuse the color a little bit. I look like a clown. I put so much on. <laughs> I'm blushing. Okay, I'm gonna have to go in with some face powder to try to diffuse this. Sometimes it happens, you end up putting too much product, too much blush, too much contour, and if it's too strong, you can just go on top of it with like a little bit of powder. It diffuses the color. Okay, let's finish the eyes and then we'll do our highlight. I'm gonna try to highlight the inner corner. I'm gonna go back to Champagne Pop to do that. Oh, maybe like this. Oh, okay, I can do that. And it works a little bit. We're just coming up with so many new ways to do our makeup today. We as human beings get very comfortable. We don't always like change, but sometimes when you challenge yourself, you realize that there are more than one ways of doing something and you also realize that you learned a new technique and you're capable of doing so much more than you thought you could okay i'm done with that now back to the makeup i'm gonna grab that dark purple shade from the l'oreal palette again okay i'm gonna try to use the tip of my finger don't mess it up don't mess it up don't mess it up okay okay do you guys see like right over here for some reason right in this corner eyeshadow just won't stick i'm not sure why we're gonna take this wet and wild liquid eyeliner we're just gonna try to do a wing maybe no don't get messed up Ooh, look at that wing, guys. All right. Okay, let's not get too excited yet because you're not done. And you could easily mess this up right now, so. It took me a very, very long time to get these two wings. And um, they're not looking like sisters. They're like cousins today. Yay! We can do our wings with our nails. It only takes two hours. I'm gonna take a little bit of the liquid liner and try to just put this right under my lower lash line okay for mascara today I'm gonna take this Maybelline Falsies push-up drama mascara I'm just sort of holding it and then trying to close my eyes oh it's making it so clumpy 
for my lashes today. I'm going to use these Ilure London lashes. I did feature this in my haul, so let's give these a try and see how these are. And this is going to be hard too, guys, because I am so used to putting on my false lashes with my tweezer. I kind of don't know how to do it just using my fingers, so this is going to be a challenge also. Try to put this right on my knuckle here. <laughs> the things that I'm coming up with. Here we go. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Those lashes did not work out. Definitely need to put those on using a tweezer because they're kind of stiff. So basically, in trying to put those lashes on, I've glued part of my eyelid onto my lash line and the skin was like folding in like this. So this was like a disaster. I had to redo my liner using my nail again because that eyelash glue is, it's like super glue. So I probably am gonna lose a bunch of lashes today, but it's okay. I am gonna go in with my trusty old Ardell lashes and I am gonna go put these on. These are 117. Please work. Okay, now that was so easy to put on compared to what happened with those other lashes. That's on without any fight. Thank you, Ardell lashes. I'm gonna put some mascara on the bottom lashes, so let's do that. To set the brows, I'm going to take this Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. We're going to do some highlighter now. Since we put Champagne Pop in the inner corners, we're just going to take this onto our cheekbones as well. Do you see that? right now. Highlighters just make everything better, doesn't it? So now for the lips, I am gonna go in with NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Canes. Okay guys, I think we are basically done. I'm just gonna put some setting spray so we can get all these powders to melt together. I'm just gonna take my Fix Plus and spray it all over my face. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. What do you guys think? How did I do? To be honest, I'm really surprised at what ended up happening because I had very, very low expectation of what I can do using just my fingers. All in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I surprised myself. If I lose my brushes, I know that I can do my full face. It's just going to take me five hours. I gotta tell you, I love my brushes. Thank you guys. This was really, really hard without you guys and I appreciate you so much more now. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you liked this video and you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to click this subscribe button. That'll just pop up right over there, right up here. Click it so you don't miss out on future videos from me. I will list everything that I used in the description bar below as always. So make sure you check there. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, make sure to follow me on all those social media. They're all beauty by ish. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day and I love you all again for all the support. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, oh, what is this? Ay, ay, ay. Full face using only my fingers. No brushes challenged. Challenged? Well, I will be challenged when I do this video. Oh, my lashes are glued together. That's not a bad Nas, Nas contour. <laughs> I just realized for the entire video, I was kind of going like this. Because I'm so stressed. Okay, my neck hurts now. <laughs>